why do I wait until my, I have two cans of food left before I go kill the bear? Like, why do I do that? What, can anyone explain to me what's going through my head? What's up, my immune friends? This is KG48, and welcome back to my Let's Play 4 Missed Survival. All right, guys, we are going to be doing some work here at the base. I've already been doing some work off camera. I've been breaking up some fences. Now, these fences originally were only supposed to be here to uh, protect me from bears. So I am breaking some of them up and, uh, you know, I'll probably break most of them, if not all of them up. As a matter of fact, um, this one got to go too. Uh, we got we to gotta set up our, our base properly, man. We've been putting this off long enough. We need a place to store things. Um, I've simply just got crap all over the place because I've got nowhere to store anything. Um, so we have to get some major, major storage going on. What are you doing? Why are you standing in the corner? Get to work. I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to beat you to death, death with my axe, Rachel. If that is your real name, I know it is. I'm just kidding. All right, let me get you out of there, Rachel. That's not. That's no place for you to be. There you go. Up. Oh, she fall down. Go boom. Uh oh. How you doing, Rachel? We we cool. We still cool. Uh, oh, she. Her health sign. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's weird. See how this thing was glowing. That's. Hmm. I wonder if that means that's where she lives. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. No, oh, no, we got one right there, too. I'm not quite sure what that is. Oh, well. We're going to ignore it. Let's go ahead and pick up all this stuff. And uh, we got to get down... Uh, what do we think? Um, at least two more storage buildings, if not three. All right. Now, I can't fit one over here. I'm not really sure why, but I've tried. Cannot fit one in here. So what I'm going to do is I broke up the fire. I'm probably going to make a little area over here for a fire or possibly... For the chicken coop, I'm not really sure. I do want a chicken coop. I know it's kind of useless because it simply doesn't work. But, you know, that's okay. I still want a chicken coop because I think it would be fun. I think it would be so fun. All right, so let's go ahead and throw all this stuff in here. I'm just kind of just kind of throwing stuff on the ground for now. I really don't have much else I can do with it. We're going to go ahead and eat that food. And we're going to have to uh, kill and, 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 you know, take a bear apart at some point soon because I think we're actually getting low on food. So we're gonna have to gut. We're gonna have to gut a bear soon, and I'm gonna be like, "I take pleasure in gutting you, boy." What movie is that from? All right, so um, yeah, let's go ahead and take this out. We gotta grab all this stuff off the ground. There we go. And now we're gonna break all this out. Can I do these at once? I can. The cool thing about the fencing is you get 100% of the resources back. That's why I love the fencing because you know, that's the way it should all be. Like. I should be able to just build stuff and get all of it back, you know? Because, like, a lot of times you never know what's going to work when building. It was the same thing in subsistence. You know, when I used to play subsistence, you know, uh, before he allowed it to, before he allowed us to just move stuff at will, um, it was really tough because you don't know what's going to work and you don't know what's not going to work. And the resources take so long to gather, you know. I mean, I guess the resources don't take a ton of time to gather in this game, but it's enough. I mean, it's still time you have to put into it, so. I don't know. All right, so we broke all that out. Now let's see what we can put here. Oh, still got more to break out. Got more fencing to break out, boys. But I do love the fact that you get all this stuff back from the fencing. That is a really, really, really nice thing. There we go. And boom. Boom goes the fencing. Come on. All right, let's pick all this up. Don't want to leave any of it on the ground. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, it's still a little early in the morning. That's why it's kind of like not as bright, but um, that is okay. Um, I got the generator running. Once the once the sun comes up proper, I'll turn the generator off. Okay, pick all these up, and one more to break. It'd be really nice if we could fit a cabin in here. Um, we'll see. Oops. Wait, there's still nails to be made. Come on, lady, get to work on the nails. What are you doing? Okay. Now let's see if we can put a cabin here. Please, I don't think it's going to work, but let me put a cabin here. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Take that out. We'll move this over here. Move this kind of over here for now. And let's see if we can put a cabin down. Does not look good. It's not looking good, guys. Yeah, there's no way. I'm not sure why. It's got to be the uh, tower. It's got to be the tower. Oh, 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 hold on. Hold on. Oh. 
That might just work. It's definitely a tower, by the way. That's the problem. So you think right there? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Let's go ahead and save before we uh, build this thing. Now what do we need? We need the hammer, nails, wood. All right. Well, we could put this stuff in there. We could definitely put all the components in there. And uh, we might have some nails on us. Nope, we don't have any nails. We need wood and nails. Let's go ahead and turn that off. And look at that. We got some nails. Beautiful. And I think we got some wood over here. Yep. I don't know how much that is. Probably want to have her chop up some more wood into planks. I might have some planks lying around here somewhere I don't know about. Very well could be the case, but whatever. We'll always need planks. You're always going to need planks, guys. How many does this take? It takes 15. I wonder how many I just picked up. I didn't look. But this is definitely going to take hours to build. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to uh, get a bear tomorrow. Um, get some of the, get some of the bear meat up there on the drying rack because um, I think we only have a few canned uh, food left. So I think it's about time. All right, so we still need eight more eight more planks, eight more wood planks. Should not be too difficult. All right, we got all the nails, and there's the planks. Yeah, I'll just take what I need. Now I did save the game before I did this, and that's because if it's not in a good spot, I can always reload it and try again. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and eat as well. Yeah, I think we only have a couple can, couple things of canned food left. So that has got to be dealt with by killing bears. We gotta slaughter bears by the dozens. Eh, not really, but we're gonna kill. We're gonna kill a bear. That's for damn sure. All right, so that's a little bit closer over this way. Eh, I don't know how well this is gonna work, but let's give it a shot. Okay. All right, so that's locking in. Uh, that's not so bad. I think I can live with that. Will it be inside, though? It's going to be inside. Oh, it's not that far inside. That's not that far inside. I can live with that. And this side. Okay. All right. Come on. There we go. That is beautiful. What if I want to get out this way? Should I put a door here? Nah. Nah, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. All right. Wow, this is um, this is gonna work out. This is gonna work out. I would put a door there anyway. Put a gate there. You think a gate would be good here? Maybe. I don't see any reason not to put a gate here. You know, what if uh, what if whoever's living in this building wants to get out and go pee in the middle of the night out there? You know, and they they have to walk all the way around. Like, nah. I'm not a monster. Well, it's literally taking me all day to build this <laughs> because that cabin takes so long. But uh, I think it's coming out pretty decent. Yeah, I mean that's not. As perfect as I would like it, but I think it's perfect enough. It's not quite perfect, but it's perfect enough. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. I like it a lot. That is awesome. Yes. Yes, I do like that. Uh, wait, where's the door? There it is. Beautiful. Wow, that's really nice. I like that a lot. That came out really good. So, I think what we'll do is we'll put this... Just for now. Maybe we'll put it somewhere else later, but for now... That can go right there. All right, I like it. Let's go ahead and turn this on. And let's move this over here as well. Okay. Oh, this is... Okay, now this is coming out nice. Now we got to see what we're going to do over here. Now, we can't... I'm going to show you right now why we can't put one here. Just can't do it. There's just simply not enough room. I'm not really sure why. Maybe I can... Can I do this? Will it go over here in any way, shape, or form? No. No, it won't. All right? See? Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay. Well, we can leave this as an open area. I'll mess around with this later. Maybe I'll put a, maybe I'll put some kind of fence around there. I'm not really sure, but uh, we'll mess around with that later. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out here, and we couldn't put one here either, right? Somebody said it was because of the ladder. I don't think it's because of the ladder. I'm almost positive it's not. Oh, hold on. Wow, that's pretty close. Hold on. Come on. Come on. All right, that's lined up. And... Come on. Come on, please. Oh, it's got to come... It's got to come this way a little bit. Damn it. All right, well, how about this? All right, guys, I have something here that I think might just work. The only thing that's worrying me is it might be hard to get the truck out the other door. 
Uh, but I could just use one door. I could use the other door as like, you know, something I go out on foot and then I could use the big door, you know, that the truck can actually get through, um, as like a door to bring the truck in because, uh, I really like this build, but like I said, it's going to be hard for, to get the truck, um, to the second door, which is going to be kind of annoying. Um, also, well, let's just leave the generator off because we're actually going to go to sleep for the night. So we'll set that up. There we go throw those on the ground so they don't get screwed up and let's go to sleep for the night and uh then we're going to come back down and uh we're going to build up what i should what i built and then um you know it's pretty cool because it's kind of an organic build the way the uh, base is starting to come out and basically the idea is uh the the buildings that people are going to live in and the storage buildings are not going to be square they're not going to be 90 degree angles right they're going to be like a little bit offset, which I think is really cool for like a makeshift kind of like building. The way this one's offset. I kind of like that. Um, uh, there's part of me, there's a part of my brain th that says, no, Cage, they have to be 45 degree angles. What the hell are you doing? I can't handle this. And, you know, I feel like I'm going to go crazy. But then there's another part of my brain that says, you know what? No, this is artistic. It's cool. It's like, it's the imperfections that make it look cool. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but... Yeah, it's kind of how I feel about it. So let's go ahead and take care of this one right here. We got this one right on this side. We got the other one on the other side. I think we're going to have to go eat because my guy is hungry. Oh, boy. Not looking too good with our food stuff, guys. We should probably check that bear. We're going to go We're gonna go, go to that bear and have him check himself before he wrecks himself. Uh, I want to sleep through this. I don't really... Well, I'm kind of curious if they can get in. Yeah, let's let's sleep up here and see if they can actually get in. Can I get up there without fencing? Probably right here, right? There we go. All right, well, let's see. Let's see if the uh, infected can get inside. Okay, I heard something, and it does not look they can get look like they can get inside. Now, this doesn't mean one hundred percent they can't get inside. Sometimes they could actually spawn inside, but. It's looking good that they can't get inside. I don't think they're spawning in here. I think they spawn around the outside and they can't get in. That is pretty nice. It's starting to come along. This is starting to come along, people. Hells yeah. There we go. Wait, did she make the extra wood or... I guess I pulled it out of there and didn't think about it. Yeah, did I pull the wood that she made out of there? I don't know. I put four pieces in there, so it should be 24 wood. So if I don't have enough wood planks and she didn't make it... And it disappeared. I don't think it did, though. I think I pulled it out and just didn't notice. It takes so freaking long to make these cabins. My goodness. Come on, man. Work faster. Ugh, I gotta go save Scott or something. Maybe he can help. Alright, so actually we don't have enough wood. Uh, oh, boy. Hold on. Where is it? Where's the generator? Oh, I'm out of... Uh, I'm a, I wonder if I went to sleep with the gas on. With the generator on. Hmm, I don't know. And I destroyed the fire. No, actually, the it wouldn't be in the fire. It would be in here. There we go. Now we're going to get the generator rolling. Uh, fuel. Yeah, we, we're going we're gonna to kill a bear today. We're going to kill a bear today. Turn it on. There we go. Much better. Oh, it's still really dark out here, huh? Now, we need more lights, boys. We need more lights one right here i like i like him in between that's really cool yeah i like that i like that all right let's finish this oh no we need the wood where'd the wood go did she did i really use all those planks that doesn't seem right oh boy guys i am starving oh my goodness my goodness should we kill the bear today i kind of want to get these um buildings done before i go kill the bear so that's what i'm gonna do my drink is also like not being like taken care of. I brought that other that other barrel over, and it's just you know I haven't like empty. I want to empty all this water out into the good barrel. I want to have a barrel with dirty water and a barrel with good water. I think that'd be pretty cool. All right. So oh yeah, by the way, um, she wasn't working on this. I'm not really sure why, but I I came through and did it myself last night. I don't even know where she is. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? What a waste. She's such a waste. You're such a waste, Rachel. Good for nothing. Can't even make me some freaking planks. Uh, oh, we need more nails. Well, I have nails. I have nails. They're in here. 
See, that's a cool thing. Like, I make I made too many nails when I was building last time, but I knew I would need them. I know I'm going to need them. Like, there's just no two ways about it. You're going to need more nails. Period. You're going to need more planks. Period. So, here we go. All right, so I think this is six buildings. Six buildings should be plenty. Although, seven would be better. And the idea is, um, that's, where I, that's where I live. That's where I sleep. Um, and then we're going to have one for sleeping, two for sleeping, three for sleeping for each of them. And then, um, and then we're going to have storage, storage, and storage. Uh, let's see if we can get the, let's see if we can get the truck out of that other, that other, uh, door. So we drive around here. Yeah, I don't think we should make another, um, I don't think we should make another one of these cabins because if we do, well, maybe, maybe. The thing is, if we make another cabin here, there's no way I'm getting this, this, uh, truck out that door. Yeah, I could do it now. But if I make another one, then that's probably not going to be the case. And of course I'm stuck, because why wouldn't I be stuck? Alright, you know what? The hell with that door. That door's a pain in the ass. Um, I'll use it to go out, like, on foot, but I'm not going to use it with the truck. So, that means we can put another one of these here. Uh, do I want to put it like this? Um, that's not going to leave a lot of room. Or like this. That doesn't really... Doesn't really line up properly, but um, I think that'll be fine. And then we could just walk out here. I think I think that'll be okay. Now the thing is with this door, because of the way I built this um this wall here, this pillar is in the way. When I try and drive out this door, there's no way this pillar is not going to be in the way. Even if I drive straight on, it's just a pain in the ass to get the truck out the door. Um, the truck is going to in enter and exit through this door only, and I will enter through here on foot. Not only that. But when you drive the truck out here, it's like a big, like, dip. I mean, this doesn't, this isn't a place you, you drive a truck in. It just isn't. So, yeah. So that's fine. All right. Well, let's go ahead and finish this one. And then I think, uh, I think that's going to be pretty good for the building. Oh, what the hell was that? Thought I heard something, but I think it's going to be pretty good for the building. We'll probably add a few more things, but I think as soon as I'm done with this, the first thing I'm going to do is go kill a bear. I think that's going to be my number one concern. We're going to kill him. We're going to we're going to gut him. We're going to take his we're going to take his animal fat for fuel. We're going to take his food for eating. Put it on the drying rack, and uh, the base is starting to come along. Starting to come along now. Next video, I might actually go and save more people. Who knows? You know, you never know how things are going to go. I need to decide too which one of these is going to be for storage and which one is going to be for living. Which 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 four are going to be for storage and which three are going to be for living. We'll have to see. And there we go. There we go. All right. We also need more lights. We also need more lights. So let's come in here and grab some food and some drink. Man, we've really got to go kill a bear. Like, tomorrow, first thing. Like, we're down. To, why do I wait until my, I have two cans of food left before I go kill the bear? Like, why do I do that? What? Can anyone explain to me what's going through my head? When I wait until I have two cans of food left and I have to sleep through the night, which means I'll probably have to pop a couple more cans in the morning. I don't know. I don't know why I do the, the things I do. I need a, we would need an army of psychiatrists to help me out. All right, let's get on out there and let's get some bear. Uh, I'm going to use the pistol. Or I could use the bow. I don't know. Do I have any ammo for the pistol? I don't know where I even keep my ammo. Honestly, I have no clue where I keep my ammo. I think it's in one of these, right? Yeah. It's not looking like I have any ammo for the pistol. Oh, is that for the Oh, yeah, that's for the pistol. Okay. It's not like I'm using it for anything else. I might as well use it for the bear. Uh, let's let's try and nail him from the wall. Why not? Why put ourselves in danger when we don't have to? Okay, is he around here? Uh-oh. Oh, there he is. Okay, buddy. Basic wooden arrow. I'm not going to waste the good stuff on you. Nailed him. He can't even move. Yeah, I hit him again. All right. Uh, yeah, he can't move. Let's, um, let me actually clear up my inventory and, and, you know, have space so when I go to gut him, I can gut him properly without having to worry about the fact that my inventory is full. Oh, he is not happy with me. How can I tell? I don't know. I'm just assuming because I hit him with an arrow. Oh. There he goes, right in this stupid freaking bear head. Alright, well, it looks like I missed him a couple times. 
That doesn't sound like me. All right, well, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and grab all of the fat first. And then we'll grab some meat. How many pieces of meat? Eight. Sounds good. And uh, we'll also grab some hide. 4.45 hours. You know what? Just in case. Sometimes the bear could respawn and attack you while you're trying to gut his previous corpse. Uh, there we go. There we go. And let's take one of those. Okay. Proceed. I've got I've got plenty of salt for this. I've got plenty of room in my inventory. This is this is gonna be great. Then I have plenty of water. I need to um I really need to get that water, get the clean water over to the second barrel. Um and really start stockpiling water. So I just saw some shadows over here on the left and I thought it was another bear. Alright, there we go. Beautiful. Thank you, Yogi. You're a gentleman and a scholar. I didn't even have to use my pistol. Go ahead and drink till enough. Okay. Now we need to go grab some salt. Salt these suckers up. Get them on the drying rack. We are hungry. Boy, uh, I, I, I totally forgot that it's going to take a while to even dry on the drying rack. So we've really, really waited way too long to do this. Waited way too long to do this. And where is my salt? There we go. And we don't have a fire either, guys. Because guess what? We broke the fire out, and I don't have a I don't have a place to put the fire yet. Um, so because you can't move the fire, it's one of those things you can't move. I don't know why they won't let you move the fire, but they won't. Um, so that kind of sucks. So I uh, where do I put I guess I'll just put it over here for now. I'll just put it right here for now. It's not gonna stay here. Uh, actually, let's put it out here. It's not gonna stay here, but it'll be good enough for the time being. And I'm gonna need some sticks because of course I am. Now, what kind of sticks were those? Uh, branches, not sticks. Branches. I know I got branches somewhere. Here, branches. Oh, so hungry. So hungry. I'm actually gonna cook one of these because I am that hungry. I cannot wait. I need to freaking eat and eat now. Now, where the hell did I put those matches? Actually, I think the matches were in here, weren't they? I really have to organize, by the way. Uh, matches, matches. Where are the matches? Let's go ahead and eat this now. Just so, just so we're not freaking starving. Um, I thought there were some matches in here. I guess not. I know I saw them somewhere. I just don't remember where. Must have been in here. Yep, there they are. Alright, we got some matches. The matches that take like 30 hours to make. Like one package of matches for some reason. Uh, let's do that. This is all the... This is all the uh, that's all the fire we have, unfortunately. But it'll be enough for this. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, bro. There you go. Alright, so let's put these on. We'll just cook four. It'll be fine. They won't go bad. In time, anyway. Uh, drink, drink a little. And... They should be just about done. Usually when you drink a little, it's like... It brings it right to the point where they're done. Come on, you're done, right? Come on, I just drank a little. Come on. Or maybe I'm thinking of the chickens. I don't know. These obviously take a little bit longer to cook. Don't eat them medium because uh, they'll give you food poisoning. Or they have a chance to give you food poisoning. Okay. And what about you? Okay, so those are doing just fine. So let's do this. Let's make one of these. That should be enough for the all the fat to be done. Nope. Not even close. Okay, so let's just do another set of dry meat. And then we'll check the fat. Alright, that's fine. Fat's getting there. We're going to go ahead and eat this. And now the fat's going down. Okay, so we're going to we're gonna hang up this dry meat and then make more. And then that, uh, that dry meat should be just about done at that point. Alright, so we're going to take that off. And we are going to put this on. Is that the dry one or yeah, it's raw. There we go. Now I don't know if the dry one like lasts for a long time. It looks like negative forty-one percent. I don't know what that means. I think that means it's, it's no good. But I don't really one hundred percent know. Shut up, Tina. Um, now where's the drying rack? Where did I put the drying rack? Hello, drying rack. I don't know where I put it. Oh, there it is. I really put this uh, far out of the way, didn't I? Alright, so let's get all these on there so they'll dry. 
All right, well, I'm pretty happy with the way this place is coming out. I, I don't know what we're going to do next video. We could do a building video, or we could go rescue um, one of the um, survivors. Honestly, I don't know which I want to do. It could be one, could be the other. You never know. You never know with me. Anyway, guys, if you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and until then, take it easy.